Well, I think it is working, um, and uh, there will be other currencies like it that may, may be even better. Um, but in the meantime, um, there's a big industry around Bitcoin. Okay. And, um, you know, people have made fortunes out of Bitcoin. Some people have lost money out of Bitcoin. Um, it's volatile. Hmm? It's volatile. Yeah, but it is quite volatile. But, um, but you know, when in volati volatility, people can make money out of it. Exchanges that are uh, overseas in a lot of different ways, but um, uh, Bitcoin is basically um, it's digital currency um, to store value, and effectively there's a public ledger that uh, you know records the ownership of coins. But you, you bought these things in the single digits, right. and now they're worth over three hundred dollars each. I, the, the reports I, I've seen say that you put in eleven million dollars, now it's maybe over forty. Maybe it's maybe it's more, maybe it's less. But how, who is who makes the bitcoins? I, this is the part I still don't really get. I don't think anybody really gets. Right. Uh 目前这个矿场的主经理，我主要负责这整个场地的安全的运转工作，包括员工，包括设备，包括供电。这个这个项目呢，是我们几个朋友一起做的，每个人都是股东，一起集资，一起。You uh, said it was going to become this really dominant cryptocurrency, and all these years later. Uh, it certainly has become that with uh, WordPress.com, Overstock, Amazon Target, CVS, Subway, Victoria's Secret. They're all accepting it. So now InfoWarsStore.com is accepting it. And we're even using a company you're involved with as well, the uh, BitPay. We were trading it into dollars. I think I told you that on the last show. We were instantaneously converting into dollars. But we decided about 10 days ago that we're actually going to start accumulating a bit of Bitcoin was at the forefront of the Bitcoin phenomenon is the 25-year-old British computer software developer, Amir Taki, who's with me here. Amir, thanks for coming in. Good to see you. Um, why are you involved in this? Um, because I've, I've been involved with uh, open source software for more than 10 years. And uh, I feel that we, ha we live in uh, a time where we have a huge amount of uh, science and technology and yet this technological base has run away from us. So people have less, less leisure time, that they're working longer hours, you know, for increasingly worse pay, doing worse jobs. And the potential of, like, of science and technology that we can use to apply to create uh, livable places where people can have better quality of life. And uh, Bitcoin is, is, is one of these new tools that we can use to reclaim our sovereignty. The blockchain is a way for a distributed group of people to achieve consensus on a large scale. And we can use these tools. CONX is the uh, first peer-to-peer -peer advertising system. This is totally de decentralized system. We are very happy to see this for uh, pay services or another services uh, would like to accept Emircoin for uh, use in their services.
Bitcoin and the blockchain revolution going on will change many things in the banking and the, the transaction uh, world. What people don't understand is that blockchain and uh, one of uh, the main well-known currencies such as Bitcoin uh, will change uh, our world in the same way that uh, the internet and email have changed the way we exchange information documents uh, or the way Skype changed the way we communicate. Uh, blockchain is uh, something that uh, is distributed, is trusted by more and more uh, people in the public because it's open. You can always uh, look at it, it's like a ledger with all the, the transactions. And uh, it uh, basically describes the exchange of value uh, or money. And what most people don't understand is that even uh, any payment that we make today in dollars, in euros, is basically exchange of information. Now at Pay Services, what we did, we considered any uh, money or currency to be a symbol of value, i.e. Uh, if it's a complementary currency such as frequent flyer miles, uh, it's, it, has, it is a symbol of value, you can exchange it for tickets on an airplane. Uh, if it's a fiat currency like dollar or euro, you can make a payment to pay your taxes, uh, make a purchase in a, in a shop uh, as you usually probably do. You get your maybe your salary in dollars or euros. Uh, and the blockchain is another type of currency. So we have the uh, conventional, the blockchain and the complementary, but we have other, other uh, symbols of value. Uh, for example, uh, precious metals. Certainly. Wow, in case you're not that excited about Bitcoin yet, you need to know that as of today, over 200,000 jobs have been created. And I think that number is probably conservative, it's probably more than that. And in terms of investment, I am projecting at least a billion dollars in this industry. I honestly believe that digital currency, Bitcoin, okay, is going to be the greatest technology revolution in the history of mankind. We will do things other people will not do, so that one day we can do things other people cannot do. We are willing to look at industry problem and take the position that if we can only come up with a solution to overcome that those problem, it would not only be good for our industry, but would also be good for D nodes in our ecosystem. Because if you start thinking in an exceptional way, you will come pretty close to it. And that is one of the governing success of d -Nord. This is even being reflected in DCE brief itself. It's because we feel that the industry problems are also our problems.